Hi, I'm Derek Bergen for Bass City Beat. We're here at the Antarn Art Center where they're holding the opening ceremonies for the Michigan Annual Art Exhibition. This is the 34th year they've held this event in Mount Clemens, so we're going to check out some of the various artwork on display. The Michigan Annual is our longest running exhibit. This is its 34th year. Every year we open it to all Michigan artists. The only requirement is that they live in Michigan at the time that they submit, and the work has to have been created in the last two years. The top work will win a $1,000 Best in Show prize. Second will win $500. Third will win $300. There will also be three $100 prizes. So far, I've, I've been pretty impressed. I was impressed to hear some of the previous year's jurors um, and kind of proud to be part of that tradition. We have everything from traditional arts like painting and photography. You can see we have a lot of sculptural works. We have some more unusual sculptural works made out of cardboard and other non-traditional materials. We have some interactive works that you're actually invited to open and close and explore. So there are a lot of quirky items, but there are a lot of traditional painting, sculptural, photography type items as well. When we have a juried exhibition, it means that we accept all works for submission, but we bring in a professional from the arts community to evaluate the works and pull together a show. We were very lucky this year to have Aaron Timlin, the director of the Contemporary Art Institute in Detroit. He went above and beyond what most jurors do. He not only selected the works for the show, but he then came in and hung them. You know, he decided on their placement so that he really put the show together himself. A lot of times it's just a process of elimination. You know, you just kind of go through and think, okay, I'm not really attracted to these pieces, and you start narrowing it down, and then you start to see a relationship between a lot of the work, and you think, okay, these are starting to relate to each other, how will it play off in a show together? And you, you kind of have to create the show in your mind and kind of imagine the walls and the pieces and where they're going, the lighting, how people are going to experience the work as they go through the exhibition, um, and that's all, that's what's important too about placement. After, after the work came in, I came here and, and kind of laid out where everything was going. This piece right here, $65,000. I hope they take the personal check because I'm buying it. Uh, my name is Todd Mitchell. I'm a professor uh, at Macomb Community College um, in the area. I've um, been teaching there for a while and think it's important to show in the community in which I teach so that my students get a chance to come out and see what I do, but not only, not only that, but to see what others are doing in the area. Um, so I did this little drawing, uh, a little charcoal and pastel drawing that has to do with um, ripple effects. like how we influence each other has ripple, ripple effects throughout you know, each other's lives and stuff like that. I have been the director of the Anton Art Center since December of last year, so I'm very new to the position. I have a fundraising background. I've worked for nonprofits before. I have a PhD in anthropology, and I spent a lot of time in Japan. I did my dissertation on Japanese pop culture and representations of nationalism. So although I don't personally have an arts background, I've always been involved in art, and I'm very excited to be raising money for the arts community, and especially for the arts community in Michigan. Michael was the director of the Art Center before me. He left in September, and he was the one who was really responsible for getting the addition moving. You know, we were, we were in this traditional library building, which was great, but space was cramped. And so Michael and some lead donors got a campaign together. They raised money for the expansion. And it was really his work that made the Art Center what it is today. And we're so excited to be able to honor him tonight. We're giving him a gift as a token of our appreciation. We have a cake. We hope that everybody comes out to congratulate him with us on everything that he accomplished. I think uh, they're on a very good track here with the Michigan Annual. Again, it, it is uh, a hallmark event for, for the Art Center for Macomb County. Um, in terms of the Anton Art Center, uh, I'd like to see the continuation of uh, the growth into a, really a regional hub for the arts in Macomb County. Uh, Macomb County very often is not thought of as a place for arts and culture, and I think the Anton Art Center is poised to really take on the role as uh, 
as the center for that movement uh, in the county as it continues to grow and, and become a diverse and, and interesting cultural, uh, cultural gem in the state. We have a lot of classes and we are going to begin a partnership with Macomb Community College. We're going to offer our classes through their programs that we hope to reach a wider audience. We have plans to switch some of the galleries around. Right now our gift shop is very tiny and cramped. We're going to move it into a larger space. And the community gallery, where local community groups can have kind of group shows, we're going to move that up to a nicer, more traditional gallery space where they can get more attention for their work. This exhibit will be up through February 16th, and I hope that everyone comes to see it. If you'd like to be a part of future exhibits, I'd suggest that you call us at 469-8666 or visit our website, www.theartcenter.org. We love to collect artist information all year round and add you to our lists. If you're particularly interested in the Michigan Annual, definitely call us and tell us that, and we'll make sure that next year when this exhibit comes around, you get information about it. We've seen a wide variety of creative artwork tonight. It's nice to see Macomb County as a cultural center for artists from throughout Michigan. If you'd like to see this show, it'll be running until February 16th at the Antarn Art Center. For Bass City Wheat, I'm Derek Bergeron.